Hello, I'm Connie Kellett, the Family Violence Principal Practitioner for the Department of Justice and Community Safety. Family violence work is more important than ever, given the new challenges brought about by COVID-19. Services to the Victorian community have continued during COVID-19, sometimes a little differently. I'll walk you through some of those changes for us. Prisons have changed to protect prisoners and staff against COVID-19. Personal prison visits have currently been suspended. Prisoners are instead given access to technology that enables video conferencing with family and friends. Family violence information sharing and key services such as mental health and legal support continue to operate across the prison system. Community correction services officers continue to supervise offenders in the community via remote case management or face-to-face -face service in justice centres. The work includes continuing collaboration between Victoria Police, Child Protection, Orange Door and other specialist family violence services to ensure information sharing, case conferencing and the management of risk. A remote service delivery consultation panel to oversee and address issues such as escalating risk and service access and intensive management of high priority cohorts. The DJCS Victims of Crime Helpline continues to provide services and support for victims of crime between 8am and 11pm every day. Consumer Affairs Victoria staff are primarily working from home by phone. Changes due to COVID-19 include temporary laws to protect residential tenants, including how a tenancy can be ended, rent relief and suspension of rental increases and establishment of a new dispute resolution process for landlords and tenants. Training for consumer affairs on family violence is being adapted to online delivery. Funded services agencies continue to provide financial counselling and tenancy assistance. In youth justice facilities, MARAM screening of all young people identifies family violence risk and guides response and referral for family violence, including through clinical supports and care teams. Youth justice case managers in the community are primarily providing support remotely with face-to-face -face appointments based on risk. As assessed by the Marum screening tool and information sharing with child protection, police and support services. Department-wide, the Office of Family Violence Principal Practitioner has provided new advice in response to COVID-19 and family violence, including how to recognise, respond and refer staff who are victim survivors or perpetrators of family violence and remote delivery of foundational family violence training. I would like to thank all of our staff at the Department of Justice and Community Safety and our partners across government and in the legal and community services sectors for the extraordinary work that has been carried out at this time to support victim survivors to be safer.